How you going, Georgia? Hey, Cooper. I'm good. How are you? Good, thanks. Uh, I'll we'll get this started. Thankfully, this has worked first, Gary. Sometimes it takes up to five goes sometimes, so I'm glad it's working. But uh, we'll get this started. Today we've been joined by new Southern Saints player, Georgia Farron. Thanks for coming on, Georgia. No problem. Thank you for having me. So how did the Southern Saints journey come about? Obviously, been playing for Sandy Dragons last year. You missed out last season. How did this opportunity come about? And when did you first get that inkling that it could happen as well? Yeah, so I've been playing for Sandy Dragons for quite a few years, actually. Mm. I first got into the program in 2019. So I've been there a while. And... Um, I was very lucky. Obviously, I had a good season last year with Sandy and one of my old coaches you, um, was a coach at Southern Saints VFL and he yeah. has been so supportive of my journey the whole way. And he basically just said, look, come on down. The coaches want you there. Mm -hmm. We want to see you like, train, see how you go. And so I just yeah. got to pop up for a session and everyone was so lovely and then I just I kept training for the end of their season, which is when they actually made the grand final. So I was training for that season, didn't play, and then they asked me back for this season's preseason, which was pretty cool. So you played four games so far. What what type of play would you describe yourself for people that don't know too much about you? What type of style of play or comparison type of play would you describe yourself as? Um, I would definitely say that I am very much an attacking backliner, and I like to use. Yeah my skills and my yeah. kick in order to create the attacking play off the back line yeah. um, and kind of create that surge into our forward line, start that off, yeah. And I would also say that I'm an intercept marker and I read the play very well. So when did you start playing footy and how did it come about that you decided that you wanted to stick with footy and pursue that as a career? Yeah, so I started playing footy in 2017, which seems like ages ago now but I guess it wasn't too long ago but basically yeah. I was a huge netballer and I also played basketball and tennis so I was very spread out across different sports and when a few mm. of my friends oh look we've got a team at Ormond Football Club like we don't have a lot of players I think they had about 12 at the time yeah and they were just like Come down train with us maybe play a game if you're up for it and of course I was like super keen like I mm. never to football my parents didn't play football I don't have any brothers um okay. but I was, I was super excited and I fell in love with it immediately like there wasn't much else to it I just absolutely loved it and so slowly I just basketball dropped off tennis dropped off and then finally netball and now it's all football how how, how was it tough to give up those other sports? You mentioned you played a bunch of other sports, basketball, netball, the like tennis. Was it really hard to give up those sports or was it much easier once football was a bigger priority? Yeah. Um, basketball and tennis were pretty easy to give up. Like yeah. they were always my, you know, my bottom Back one. But yeah. um, I absolutely loved netball and I'd been playing it for so many years. Mm -hmm. And so it was definitely, difficult to give that one up and in fact I didn't fully give it up until this year so mm. I'd always had a bit of a ball on the side you know I had a local team I would fill in for some friends but this year is the first year that I haven't been doing any netball and yeah. it was sad but I absolutely made the right decision football is basically my life so so what are some of the best advice some of your coaches at the Sandy Dragons or some of the Southern Saints coaches have given you so far in your football journey so far? What kind of advice sticks out to you that they've given you that stuck with you throughout your whole journey or since they've said it? Um, I just think mostly their support that they've given me. Like mm. all of my coaches have been so unbelievably supportive of my whole journey. You know, mm. it's taken me quite a few years to get through and then obviously not getting drafted last yeah. year or in the supplementary draft this year like I've had a few setbacks but all of my yeah. coaches at Sandy and my local coaches have been so encouraging of that um Danny Byrne who's been at Sandy the whole time I've been there he yeah. is he's incredible and he's given me so much support and he gives me so much encouragement to keep going to the next draft like yeah. I just I would where I am without any of them. So it would be fair to say that 
that AFLW is a goal for you once you can get that opportunity. If that was to be up, the opportunity to be there, you definitely want to take that opportunity as well. Yeah, 100%. That's the end goal. That's where I'm going to be. No question about sure. it. Definitely. Um, did you have any indication that you were going to get an opportunity at the Southern Saints? Like, was it something that you saw coming or was it con we kind of blindsided in a way that you wasn't sure it was going to happen and it did? Or were you pretty confident that something like this opportunity would come come about? Um, no, I definitely had no idea that it was going to happen, especially mm. last year, like in the middle of last year after, so I did Vic Metro, the national champs. Yep. And I honestly, I didn't really know that it was an option to go to VFLW mm. because um, in the Coats League, it's so like draft driven. Yeah. And so I thought that the draft was the be all end all. And then when that didn't happen and I got the opportunity to play with the Saints and do preseason with the Saints, like yeah. it was great. And like the culture there is just so amazing. And the girls have made me feel so welcome that like it feels so natural. So some, something else I did was your favorite thing to do outside of footy. I would assume that's netball considering that was the one you said was the hardest one to give up. Yeah. Um, it definitely was for a while. I also sing. So that is another little hobby yeah. that I, on yeah. the side, but um, yeah, netball and singing and studies. I'm like, I'm at uni. I'm always yeah. eager to like learn. So I got a few things that I enjoy. It's funny you mentioned the singing. I actually had this on a note from one of your Sandy Dragon teammates. Mentioned this. They, she said, I can make you can guess this one if you want. But she said she's very good at opera singing. First training of the season, she sang right in front of us. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> There was a little like a get to know you like hidden talents and um yeah I I can sing opera yeah um and so I you know got up in front of the girls and I gave them a little demo but um <laughs> that was pretty special. <laughs> Did you want to give any examples? Oh, oh I don't <laughs> think I'd be prepared right now, and I'm not sure That's how good it would sound on camera. That's fine. Well. Someone's trying to say, oh, that I've got good vocal cords. That, I know they're, they're taking the piss out of that. But anyway, <laughs> um, favourite teammates at the Sandy Dragons? Oh, I could make some enemies out of this question. Look, <laughs> I think I'd have to go with Ella Shiverus. Uh, she's yeah. been with me all the way since the very beginning. Um, she's still there yeah. now. She's probably one of my best friends at Sandy Dragons. So... There's no competition. Sorry to any of the other girls that are listening right now. Um, another, I've got one thing to end here. Um, what if, it's like, it might have been the same teammate. It may not have been at Sandy. She said, you love the backline group called the backline banners and you play in the backline and you have a great time. Is that true? Yes, that's absolutely true. The whole backline at Sandy is just amazing. All the girls, they like to joke that I'm like their backline mum. No, yeah. I'm I'm the year older than them, but um, yeah. they're all just so lovely, and I just love playing with them. We have such a good time. Georgia, I really appreciate you coming on. All the best for the rest of the season at the Southern Saints, and hopefully it leads to bigger and better things in the AFLW the years to come. Thanks, Georgia, for coming on. Thank you so much, Cooper. Have a good no, one. Have a good one. You Bye. too.